In this video, we're going to take a look at QStack macros. In Kansas, what QStack macros are, are letters that we put within our QStack. There's a column I'm going to show you in a little bit in the QStack for a macro field. And you can put in any of these letters. And depending on the letter that you put in, Kansas has determined certain actions that each of these letters will do. So, for example, if I want to activate a playback in my macro field of my QStack, I can simply put in A and then the playback number. So if I say A5, it's going to activate playback 5. So I can activate and deactivate all kinds of QStacks and other items around the software that don't have to be in playbacks 1 through 10 down here. I can activate them in lots of other ways. And I'm going to go over some of those ways and show you. You can find macros in the manual if you go to the help section and then go Magic Key Manual. And there's a lot of them. So you have to go through and test out which ones you like and see what you can use and can't use. You can turn on and off time code. You can change pages. You can jump around and pick uh, queues within queue stacks. You can test playbacks. Um, there's lots of different things you can do. So, uh, let me show you some examples. I have a QStack here, in this window over here, where I have a macro field. So this whole column here is all for macros. And you can see that I've put in some of those letters and number combinations that will activate and deactivate certain things in my console. I also have a stack store window here, and I have my execute page as well here. So if I start playing this Q stack, in Q1, there's no macro. In Q2, you can see it says G2 forward slash 8 forward slash 3. So what I'm saying here is go on playback 2 to Q8 in 3 seconds. So when I hit play, playback 2 should start, and it will go to Q number 8. Now if I hit play again, it's going to go to Playback to Q number four in six seconds. Now we have some different letters in here. I have E24 and E31. When we use the letter E, we can activate and deactivate Q stacks within our stack store directly. So if I look at E24 and E31, 24 is right here and 31 is right here. So when I hit play on this next queue, both of those stack store items are going to activate. Now I have E0 forward slash 3 forward slash 1. So what I'm asking here is E0 is telling the console that it's execute page. Execute page 3, so forward slash 3 is execute page 3, forward slash 1 is execute item 1. And then I have another one here, E0 forward slash 3 forward slash 7. So that's execute page 3, item 7. If you look at my execute page, I have it set up as a 6 by 6 grid. So each row has 6 squares in it. And then my 7th one is this one here. So when I hit play, it's going to activate these two execute items. I can have effects there, uh, strobing, I have a blue narrow uh, zoom range going on. When I hit play again, it turns these off and it turns on my red, white, and blue effect here in QStack 25. And every time I hit play, it's activating something else. Here's teal specials, but it's also activating the amber color in this QStack down here. In this queue, I activated this queue stack here. I activated this stack store item. I activated this queue stack here, which is a chase. And that's how I got this look. If I hit play, I've now activated a new set of looks. I activated this blue and white effects look. And now I've turned it off to just blue. And in this last one, I have release 2, so it's going to release QStack 2, it's going to release playback 2, 
It's going to release playback one. And then it's going to change to page five. Because right now I'm on page four. So when I hit play here, it changed to page five. It activated my cue stack on page five. And I have my first look ready to go for my next song. Cue stack macros are a really powerful thing within Kansas that can be used for lots and lots of fun things to be able to manipulate and work around the console and not always have everything taking up a playback. So you can leave empty playbacks here for other items that you need, for um, audience moles or audience lights, for house lights, and you can activate things and deactivate them using your Q stack macros within your Q stack.